Bunk, bunk. <laughs> yeah. So. Musical Monday. Musical Monday. It's surely not a sin to f- love your medicine. <laughs> Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Zach and Shay at Improv Broadway. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're at. Improv Broadway. Broadway. And we're here with a spoonful of Caleb makes the living go down. <laughs> Caleb Wall on the keys. Caleb, are you on any medications right now? Uh, <laughs> be monster. honest. The feds be are honest. on their way. I did pop a couple of gushers before I walked in Ooh. today. Okay. On the street? Or are they prescribed? Uh, <laughs> street, I, got, street I, found them, I found them in my truck. Okay, so street truck gushers. gushers. Are they the gushers I gave you last week? Uh, no. I ate those Dang. so fast. He looks and so much that gushers. the next day I had to go buy more gushers. They taste so good. They're so They're basically crack. But what mm. else is basically crack is the show. It's so addicting. Right, my guys? High five. Yeah. High five and we're <laughs> watching it. It's like butt crack. Can't get enough of it. And you always want to sit on it. <laughs> yeah. If this is your first time tuning in to Musical Monday, this is the show where we sing our favorite songs to the musicals that no one's ever heard about. And boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to dig into today's musical. And Zach, you'll never get sick of digging because this one is full of jewels. Full of jewels? Full of jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said fluff <laughs> in the opening, and then you said full of jewels right now. I did? <laughs> yeah. Well, I won't take it back. I hope you never do. I flope, you keep it always. I flove you. <laughs> <laughs> I flove you too. But what's, what's all about, what, what, what's flagjewel about this musical? So this... Is a is a real ode to one of our favorite production companies, if you will. I will. Not DreamWorks. Pooey on you, DreamWorks. Pooey on you. Uh, but in fact, Pixar. Pixar. That's right. This musical, Medicine, the musical. It opens up on what seems to be an ordinary medicine cabinet. That's right. And if you think this is anything like toys, you're a little bit right. And if you think it's about Toy Story, you're also a little bit right. <laughs> the movie Toys or the movie Toy Story. Because adults treat medicine like toys. Right. To be played with. You collect them. You forget <laughs> them. They're yeah. forgotten. You always want a new one. Ooh, mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> there's a new prescription out. Please. <laughs> Everyone in the neighborhood yeah. has the new Zoloft, but me. Yeah, I won't be cool. Unless I have a new opioid. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot like that. Yeah. But the thing is, your medicine actually has feelings yes. and emotions and a personality, but you only see that when you leave, when you like close the medicine cabinet. Right. So the whole play kind of takes place in this like medicine cabinet, except for the times that it doesn't. Except for the times that it doesn't, which is a <laughs> perfect description of almost any musical. It takes place in a scene, except the other times that it doesn't. But we open up specifically on one type of medicine, the most used of all, the favorite medicine of all, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. And he be profen. He be profen. I, I, he, <laughs> he be flubbed by everybody, and he be profen. Ibuprofen be profen. And he is the the bell of the ball. Everyone loves him, and because the humans love him so much, he is naturally the leader of all of the other of all the other medicines in the cabinet. That's right. He's the Woody of the medicine, if, cabinet. if you will. <laughs> if you would <laughs> dare to akin this to Toy Story, would you please akin this? Oh, uh, would you, Woody? You please. <laughs> so. This uh, in this song, ibuprofen is um, you know he he feels a little resentment. Um, this is where it's unlike Toy Story because right. he feels resentment to his people because they take 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 it. He take take all the ibuprofen and what are they given? Response: Nothing. Not even a response. Not- <laughs> How rude to just take some pills and not even give it a response. That's right. And so in this song, he is singing uh, forlornly to his um, owner, Brandy. And he is singing, uh, you know, just once I would like something 
from you for a change. I, I, my whole existence is taking away your pain. Yeah. And I just like a little something back. In this song, I think I have a headache. Somebody used me No one had a headache at all I was bright and red and useful It's true Now my cup is broken A chipped cap upon the floor And when you reach me It feels like I'm on you You come to me hungover with body aches I live my whole life living for your sake So please for once won't you just please make my day And help me solve my headache When somebody grabs me and they screw me off to pour me out I've only got about 12 capsules inside And what will you do when inside me is all run out? Will you come and throw me aside? Or will I be the one that you used for old $20 bills? Or maybe you'll put some secret stuff in there to hide your thrills. But just once before I'm done, before I'm used up, won't you please just make me feel like the ones were best buds? My head hurts from being you. I'm tired of being abused. Ugh. There's there. an ibuprofen <laughs> in my boot. There's a pill in my <laughs> bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a beautiful song. So much copyright. In and there. you know what? I'm rewatching it and I'm like, I don't think it has anything to do with Toy Story <laughs> at all. I actually think there's no similarities. I, I can't see any. I can't see any. <laughs> can't hear him. Can't hear no hiding or tail of him. Nope, nope, nope. Nair not. Nair not. <laughs> <laughs> But what adds insult to injury? Not only is the owner growing tired or overusing the ibuprofen, but the shiny new bottle comes in. Because you all know every single time at the store, there's a brand new bottle with new marketing, a new packaging, a new, a new brand promises. And this time it is. So loft, baby. Yeah. The internal pain. The, the internal mental, emotional pain. pain. Yeah. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, Zoloft is new and she's sexy Hot. and she is ready to just rip a new one. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, she's ready to take control. Uh, she'd be the popular kid in town, you know? And everyone is. Shiny new bottle. Like, oh my gosh, you came from the pharmacy? Yeah. Not just over the counter? Yeah. She's a big deal. But here's the thing. Zoloft doesn't know she's a medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. She thinks she's actually a psychiatrist. Mm. Because on her bottle says... Psychiatrist prescribed. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> yeah. And so the dynamic of the entire medicine cabinet is changing. Mm, yeah. There's a lot of buzz around her. There's right? sure. And she's light years ahead of everybody else <laughs> yeah. in terms of social status. That's right. And she speaks Spanish, but she won't in this. 
<laughs> In the sequel, she bonks her head and speaks Spanish. <laughs> speaks Spanish for half a movie or something. <laughs> Uh, but in this song, the the ibuprofen cannot believe it and is and is begging the Zoloft. Okay, you're really a psychiatrist. Prove it. And uh, she spends this song singing about all the good she does for people and all of the psychiatric science and 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 uh, psychological and therapeutic techniques that that she knows to prove that she is a true therapist. In this song, tell me how you feel. So you got a fat stack of panic attacks? Well, I'm here to help. I'm your therapist that just sits on top of your cabinet shelf. I'm your side, I'm your guide, I'm always here. And I've got a box of Kleenex whenever you've got a tear. I know how you feel and I feel like you feel. I know how you feel and I feel how you feel. I'm not soft, I'm so loft and I've got a solution for every single minor mental illness that's coming. If you've got daddy issues, I'm here with more tissues. <laughs> if you've got anybody coming up in arms, I'll make sure that you don't come to harm. I'll make your emotions stop, and then I'll make you feel like a robot. Cause I you feel what I feel, and you feel what I feel. You I feel what you feel and you feel what I feel I'll make you lie down on a couch when your little heart makes you go ouchie I'll be your best friend when you don't have one there I've got the secrets and a PhD at least I'll say so cause this advice don't come for free I you feel what you I feel and I feel, feel, feel what I you feel, feel. I feel what you feel and I feel what you feel Insurance don't cover me No, no, you've gotta be needy If you want to need me That's why I'm a psychiatrist I give patients a kiss Of healing Cause you feel what I feel And I feel what you feel Gosh, Zoloft just has an effect on everybody. Just <laughs> lifts up a room. Yeah. Ah, incredible. Um, and uh, obviously this causes a lot of conflict between ibuprofen, the old hero, and Zoloft, the new. But this conflict comes to a head when the family moves and accidentally leaves these two medications behind. <laughs> They're all alone they took the other medicines just left those two i guess brandy wasn't quite ready to face her crippling anxiety <laughs> <laughs> and also said i've got advil that's fine <laughs> yeah, right that's better excedrin are you kidding me oh my gosh with caffeine plus caffeine <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's even better oh my gosh even stealing some of his mom's my doll that's right and some of her well, I won't say that, but you know what you I know mean. You know what it is. <laughs> the children's production, it's Pepto-Bismol. It's Pepto-Bismol. It's Pepto-Bismol. I didn't want to go that far. But yeah. <laughs> Use your imagination. Caleb took it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so they are faced. Uh, uh, so it's, what's interesting is the uh, uh, Zoloft describes her symptoms as a physical pain. Mm. And ibuprofen says his feelings describes as an emotional pain. Mm. 
And what they find out is their loneliness together in this abandoned medicine cabinet, that they're actually perfect for each other. That's right. And they should take a little bit of each other's medicine. Pills taking pills, if pills you were. Pills taking pills. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, in, uh, in this song, why don't you take a little bit of my medicine? Why, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was jealous. But Brandy loved you. He loved you for you, and I guess I just... Have you always talked like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, my speaking voice is like this. <laughs> I was jealous. I had pride. I was on the top of the world, and I didn't want to get off. This last ride, I had envy. I was green. And so when you came in here, I felt the need to be mean. But now that we're alone together, I realize my sin. And I see you're hurting, so why don't you take a little bit of my medicine? A little bit of my medicine, a little bit of my medicine to make it all feel better. Usually I feel upbeat and happy. Now I feel kind of grumpy and snappy. Don't know what's happening to me. Hint of a migraine So much so Feel like I'm going insane And my body aches all over me And there's a lump in my throat That's what really gets my goat Never felt like medicine Has been in so much pain before So I'm hoping you can help just let me in and give me a taste of your medicine. Do try medicine, try a little bit of my medicine, try a little bit of my medicine if you let me in. And I'm feeling a little anxious and I don't want to do anything, don't want to get out of bed. And I'm experiencing the straight up fog that's all up in my head That's totally normal And if you feel like that's abnormal Don't because there are lots of other people silently suffering From the pain that you've got inside And I feel like I am not myself Like I don't have my normal powers if you take me, make sure you don't take me any more than 12 in 24 hours. That's your mental health, and I'm happy to help. I got your back, I'll lift you up until you're ready to stop. So try a little, little bit, bit of my medicine. medicine. Try a little bit of my medicine. Try a little bit of my medicine. Try a little bit of my medicine. I'm already feeling better. Thank you for getting me a little bit of the medicine I need. Thank you for giving it to me. I'm already feeling better. It's only been 30 minutes. That's crazy. The dissecting gel capsule. Only 30 minutes. Just try, try a little of my medicine. medicine. Just try a little bit of my medicine. Just try a little bit of my medicine. Yeah. 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 We've gotten to know each other better What say that you and I share the same bottle? Should I move in with you or should you move in with me? We can figure that out 
figure out who gets custody. Copy. <laughs> try a little <laughs> bit of medicine. Just try a little bit of medicine. Just try a little bit of medicine. To make you feel happy. Ah, oh, and then the musical close with Brandy going, oh, I forgot you guys. Threw it in a bag and off they went. Throws her in. Throws her in. And off they went. And, and off they went. They, they friend zoned each other after that. They did. They said that was kind of a weird intimate moment we had. Let's just, let's just both pretend that didn't happen. And isn't that usually what happens when you experience something so beautiful? You think maybe this is the love of my life and you're like, whoa, maybe it was just an episode of two comedians trying something different for once. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I, maybe I should take some medicine. <laughs> and we, we are not doctors, and legally, <laughs> <laughs> we are not diagnosing or suggesting you take any medicine that you have not already been prescribed to. But we love to make you laugh, which of course is the best, the best medicine, medicine of, of all. all. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like the medicine we give, please, please, please make sure you subscribe and tune in every single week. And uh, don't forget, no matter what day, whether it's Pill day, capsule day, or suppository day. Every day is pill day. (laughs) On. On.